What's up, everybody? Uh, my name is Eric Hendricks, and I play uh, linebacker for the Minnesota Vikings. Um, I know, uh, I know, if, I know. There's a lot of you guys that that feel probably similar to me. You know, um, obviously, um, you feel a little bit helpless. You know, like you you can't do nothing. You know, you want to help. You want you want to you want to be the change. You know what I mean? But you don't know how to in this situation. You know, it's it's real deep, you know, um, <sighs> Minneapolis is a place that, uh, you know, I care about really deeply. It breaks my heart to see the people of Minneapolis, you know, <sighs> not only treated like this, but you know, how hurt they are by this, you know what I mean? People of the world, you know, people. This isn't a problem that's gonna be fixed overnight. You know, um it's gonna it's gonna take it's gonna take, you know it's gonna take accountability from each of us, you know. Um I say that because I, I I'm applying the pressure to myself as well, you know. Um I'm I'm applying the pressure to myself to do more. Um, and, uh, this has got to stop happening, man. This is, this is, this is ridiculous, man. This is just, this is over and over, you know, um, I just, I'm, I'm thankful. I'm thankful for the, you know, that, uh, that me and my teammates and the Vikings, uh, you know, have have been making major steps you know we, we're doing things to try to you know to try to to help this you know I mean? we're, we're, we're trying to get in the community we're trying to we're trying to reach people as best we can you know obviously we we need to improve clearly but we're we're doing so and we will continue to do so but i just want to hold you guys to the same standard because it's going to take all of us you know what i mean for real you know it's not it's like i said it's not going to happen overnight but we got to do something and if you're doing nothing you do you, you know you it's not good enough. I'm Anthony Harris, safety for the Minnesota Vikings. And um, I'm just here to, to share a few thoughts on kind of what I've been thinking as I watch things unfold, um, not only in the past couple of weeks, but throughout my entire life. Um, and the one thing that I realize is that as an individual, I'm not perfect. As a society, we're not perfect. But the one thing that I do um, try to do is strive for greatness um, and try, try to strive for perfection on who I can be as an individual. Um, I just think about before I competed with individuals on the field, I competed with myself daily with just trying to be the best person that I can be, um, not only for myself, but for my family, for my friends, um, for society, um, to grow and to be a contributor in a positive way to the growth of myself and individuals around me. So um, I kind of just want to challenge everyone to uh, compete with themselves, to be better each day, um, try to compete in the category of being understanding, being more compassionate, being more respectful, being more aware, um, and, and, and being a leader, being vocal on what you think um, is best, not just for yourself or for your family, but for society as a uh, whole and as a race. Um, I think it's very important that we you know, come together with solidarity, not just in times of now, but um, in, in every day of our lives. Um, I think, uh, you know, it's taken a while for us to get to this point, um, but for us to get to where we want to be, um, it is also going to take a lot of steps. But I think if we can just take it one step at a time and continue to progress we can one day be where we want to be. Um, as a country, I don't think we can ever be perfect, but I do think we can try. And I think 
it's up to each individual person to challenge themselves every day to be better. And not only challenge yourself, but to hold others around you accountable um, for being a, a, a positive contributor and to plant those positive seeds that we need to now so that years from now we can look back and really see the change and really see the growth that we all want to see. So I think um, as we go through this time of, you know, taking steps towards rebuilding what we want our future to look like, I think it's important that we plant seeds of understanding, seeds of compassion, seeds of respect, uh, seeds of love, seeds of accountability, seeds of a leadership um, for one another, um, for as it's ourselves as individuals, um, as a family, as a country, as a human race to this world. I think it is all of our duties to be the best that we can be and be able to come together as a collective effort to see the results we want to see. So I just want to say, um, let's take those steps, but let's take them together. And I wish everyone um, happiness and safe and growth and vision and support, not only during these hard times, but on this journey as we take it together. Thank you and stay blessed.